Hello and welcome back to Man V Film. It's time for Radiance's November announcements. We have a box set, we've got a standalone release, and we have a partner label release. Let's uh, dive in and have a look at these titles and see if there's anything that really jumps out. So first up, we have Le Combat Dan Lille. Uh, let's see. Clement Jean-Louis Trintignant is a wealthy son of an industrialist who lives a secret life as a right-wing terrorist. Double-crossed following an assassination attempt, he flees to the countryside with his wife, Anne, where they stay with his childhood friend, Paul. Clement plots his revenge, but Anne falls for Paul, and a love triangle is just one of the many complications in this multi-layered discovery from the French New Wave. With the support of producer Louis Mal, Alain Calavera uh, directs his debut noirish drama, beautifully shot by cinematographer Pierre Lhomme, while echoing the political turmoil of the 60s. The film probes bourgeois values and the relationship between sex and violence, acting as a precursor to the conformist and demonstrating the influence of Chabrol. We have a 2K restoration from the OCN, Uncompressed French Mono PCM Audio, Interview with Alan Cavalier, a French television show, which is five minutes, Fair La Morte, a contemporary feature by Calvin on photos of the cinema, which is five minutes, Interview with star Jean-Louis Trintignant from the Belgian television show Cinescope, the Succulence of Fruit, an interview with French critic Philippe Brogier, who provides an analysis of the film and Calv Cavalier's work, which is 37 minutes. Un American, Cavalier's first short film about a sculptor who comes to Paris, which is 17 minutes. It's France, 1961, a short film made by Cavalier on the occasion of the Zeitgeist DVD release of the film. Behind the scenes photos, including images from the archive of Louis Mal, trailer, English subtitles, reversible sleeve, limited edition booklet, and it is 3,000 copies. Um, now, I, I recently checked out a uh, filler up with Super, which was Alan Cavalier, a uh, film which I, I really liked. I wasn't initially interested with it, but I, I kind of loved it. Uh, I like the cast they've got here. Um, the plot sounds interesting, definitely one to be curious about. We have another box set, the third uh, Radiance box set of the year, The End of Civilization, three films by Piotr Silkin. So, let's see, we have um, Masquerading as both works of science fiction and horror, Piotr Silkin's satirical surrealistic apocalypse trilogy is Polish cinema's best kept secret. These highly imaginative works of fantasy are bound by a preoccupation with the machinations of power and distinct visual sensibilities. And a radical reworking of the H.G. Wells classic, The War of the Worlds Next Century, tells the story of Iron Idem, a television host who finds himself contending with a Martian invasion, whose takeover involves collaborating with the state and manipulating the populace through the media apparatus, made up entirely of fake news. Meanwhile, in Obi Oba, the end of civilization, the survivors of a claustrophobic subterranean world in ruins are pacified by Soft, who engineers a mass collective dream of escape through means of a mythical vessel, the Ark. And finally, the darkly comic Gaga, glory to the heroes, Scope must be tried and convicted of a heinous crime for him to participate in a bloody televised gladiatorial contest. Frequently butting heads with Polish authorities before and after the collapse of communism, writer and director Peter Sulskin remains a unique visual stylist whose parables of power transcend easy genre pigeonholing. <laughs> I like that phrase. Uh, two key restorations of each film, supervised by Sulskin and the DOP sound engineer, a restoration work by Radiance Films, presented on three discs on Blu-ray for the first time in the UK. Uncompressed mono PCM audio, audio commentary on Gaga by Daniel Burt, a retro futurism interview with featurette with production designer on creating the world of Obi Oba, PRL, 
Polish People's Republic post-apocalyptic parables, a new video essay exploring Silskin rejection of the science fiction label. Program of complementary, grotesque and absurdist short films, which we have Labyrinth, 15 minutes, Banquet, 8 minutes and Cages at 8 minutes. New and improved English subtitles, reversible sleeves and box art featuring original artworks, 80-page booklet, and this is limited to 2,000 copies. And finally, the partner label this month is Gang War in Milan. We've got Umberto Lenzi in an Italian film, which, again, that piques my interest immediately. Salvatore Toto Kanjima is a produce purveyor in Milan that also runs a profitable twin business, Moonlighting as a Pimp. The appearance of a ruthless and greedy French gangster called Le Capitan threatens Toto's livelihood. Le Capitan wants to unite organised crime in Milan and take a large share of the profits for himself. Toto wants no part in his plan and wants to continue quietly running his own low-key rig, but no one says no to Le Capitan. He threatens an all-out war to keep his organisation reputation intact. It's an HD digital transfer from the original camera negative with Italian and English audio options, uncompressed mono PCM audio, new interview by Andrew Nett, introduction by Mike Balloy. Great, he's, he's terrific. He was wonderful on um, the, the Cosa Nostra uh, release with a, a wonderful visual essay. Uh, a new visual essay on Lindsay's Policio Decke by Troy Howarth author of Make Them Die Slowly, a kinetic cinema of Umberto Lenzi. Reversible sleeve featuring original artwork, new and improved English subtitles for Italian audio and English subtitles for the deaf and hard of hearing, limited edition booklet, and this is limited to 3,000 copies. Now, at the bottom here, if you add The Combat Dan Lille, uh, the End of Civilization, three films by Peter Silskin, and Gang War in Milan to your basket, you will receive 10% off up until the 6th of September. Personally, I find all of these uh, titles really kind of interesting. I, um, the Sulls can say it's something that looks really weird. I would suggest checking out trailers of these films. They just look visually stunning and they are a complete unknown uh, entity. That's exciting. As a movie watcher, something that just kind of is unique, different, uh, that has this kind of underground feeling to it of of cult, proper cult film, it's kind of exciting. Um, you know, getting Jean-Louis Trintignant again, uh, Alain Cavalier, it's an interesting mix. Sounds fun, and to be honest, I'm kind of in with what Radiants are doing at the moment, so yes, I'm interested in that three interesting titles of which I would love to know what you think of these. What are you interested in? Which title jumps out to you as the most interesting? Which one are you picking up, if any? Let me know in the comment box below. We have a chit chat about these releases and what to expect. If you've seen them, of course, I want to know your opinion of these films. So let me know uh, as well. There is more content. There is more content up here if you want to see more of my stuff in the description box below are links to the Patreon membership program and manvfilm.com, all ways in which you can support me. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.